Hey all you cool cats and kittens, it's Meredith and Clayton in quarantine. <laughs> Done with you. <laughs>All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a 3D rendered tiger in your living room and then shoot a video or a photo uh, of you and your girlfriend or to yourself petting the tiger. So first thing you want to do, go to Google and type in tiger. And by the way, on an iPhone, you can do that in the URL bar. And no promises, this works on all phones. It might only work, it might only work on phones that have the 3D rendering option, such as newer iPhones and Androids. All right, but anyhow, you see there, I'm just on Google, I searched Tiger. Now, view in 3D is what you want. All right, now it's gonna ask me to walk around the room. Wow, that's a big tiger. All right, I'm gonna do that. Okay, it didn't ask me to walk around the room, it's probably I've done this a few times, but if it does ask you to walk around the room, just do that. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to position the tiger. How to get him in focus. All right, so now we're gonna move the tiger around. I'm gonna make sure this camera, of course, is straight. So with one finger, I'm going to put him in the position I kind of want. With two fingers, I can shrink him. And with two fingers, I can also twist him so that he's facing, you know, wherever we want him to face, basically. But we want to bring him a little center more. Twist him that way. Bring him up just a little bit. There we go. Looks pretty good. Maybe a little further this way so he's not quite touching the uh, chair there. I just want to be able to see his feet. I'm going to tilt this camera down a little more. Super cool though because it's definitely recognizing on so many different access points where in the 3D model the tiger is. Pretty impressive Google. All right, so we're looking good so far. All right, and I'm gonna cue my awesome actress, Meredith, and go. <laughs> She's supposed to look really surprised that there's a tiger there. Um, yeah, so you're actually right by him, babe, so go ahead and crouch a little bit. That's uh, Dylan back there, all right, and uh, so right now, babe, your nose is like right at the top of the tiger. So, no, that was, it was actually good. You go down a little bit, stop right there, up a little higher, perfect. Okay, go ahead and stroke the tiger. There you go, I think we can get a freeze frame. Basically, your best bet for getting a shot with a tiger as far as a photo goes is to do a high resolution video and freeze frame it at just the right spot. It's good. it's good. Stay watching all. Tigers are not for dokies. Ooh. Nope. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. As long as the tiger doesn't see poncho, we're okay. Stay. Ooh. Okay. Ready? Ooh. <laughs> the freaking tiger. Oh, yeah. I'm going to die. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. We will be putting out more videos and they will be in the playlist here under quarantine life. Um, so yeah, subscribe down there. You'll see more of her, I promise. Poncho too. In fact, I'll show you some poncho right now. Pancho, aka Titan. Um, and you can also follow him directly on Instagram. Um, Titan Big Head. He got big head. He's a good boy. Mwah, 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 mwah. Boy. That was a good boy.